October theme, Find Time. Designer Christine McKay has come up with some pretty clever and really cute ways to tell time. These are statement clocks. I mean, wow. You know, I have to say, I love clocks. My kids make fun of me because they say I can't be anywhere on time to save my life. So <laughs> what's my obsession with clocks? But I just love one. And I, I think in my house, no room is complete without a clock. So this yeah. was really fun for me to find some different ideas. Well, let's dive in because you have many ideas, starting with this one okay. over here, which I love. This one right here is probably, you no, know, it is my very very favorite on the market clock and it's from a company called die cuts with a view uh -huh. and they started out as a scrapbook company but what a lot of people don't know is they branched out into the home decor and so this comes in a box just like this and it comes all you have all of the adhesive letters and the designs and everything is all in the box to put up on the wall and this was my first experience putting one up actually doing it and it was really really simple I did have a little bit of help um, but it, it went up really easy and not only Are the I, numbers in here too the numbers the hand the design everything Thing. And you can see there's all different styles. And what I love too is even though there's all different styles, each box comes with like several alternate alternative ways to put it up on the wall. They have really elegant ones. They have kids ones. They have little girly ones with like a crown in the center. But I love this one because instead of the you know the top and side numbers, they have little picture frames that adhere right to the wall. Yes. So love, love, love this one. Your family becomes the memories yeah. become part of. For just the on clock. the market clocks, die cuts with a view has nailed die it with this with one. Okay, this next one over here. Okay. Just and fun. This one is really fun. Um Typically on your big wall, it's going to be more in a, in a circular pattern. Uh -huh. um, but all I did is I took some frames from Ikea. Gotta love Ikea. Um, I got the idea off of a website. Who, it was a company out of um, Holland that sold these kits. And it was, it was ridiculously expensive. The shipping was crazy. So I went to Ikea, got the frames. And then I, added, I used the paper from a company called Create Paper. And I, I, they're a great uh, paper company as well. And as you can see, I just did um, 8 by 10 frames for the tops and the sides mm -hmm. and I just decorated them and you can go wild you could do family photos you could just do pictures this is gonna actually go in my daughter's room so she kind of helped me put it together and then for the other numbers there's just five by seven frames which is some different paper in it and um, the hand in the middle is from a company called I have to hold this up um, yeah. it's called walnut hollow and I got this at Joanne's Crafts and it's just a big huge um, uh, hand piece that goes right on the clock and you can put anything around it to represent the numbers. Everyone has that wall, that big empty wall they don't know what to do yes. with. What a perfect way to not only fill space but do it in a memorable eye-catching cute way. Absolutely and there's so many alternative ideas on this clock. Um, you could do any paper to match your home decor. Absolutely and one, I think we have a picture of it, one that I found online is um, a lady had taken the same idea, this concept and she put up pictures of her her family and I love it I think it says time spent with your family is worth every second but Cute. what's she even went the extra mile and each photo represents um, the numbers on the clock so for number one there's one person in the photo for two there's oh, two clever. people I mean she just went over the top love 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 this idea I love that too on a colored wall it just makes the photos pop out completely cute okay a couple of other okay. fun ideas we want to talk so through. really quickly once again got these from Ikea um, these are originally they they are Lazy Susans. 15 You're inch, kidding. I am not kidding, 15 inch Lazy Susans. And what's really cool about these is it's like a two for one. Because this down here is the spinning part uh -huh. and this is the top part. All I did is took a little screwdriver and did it. Now I have two clock faces. Oh, and I haven't done this one yet, but this one already has the hole drilled in the center. With this, all I had to do is just drill the hole in the center, attach a clock mechanism. And for this one right here, I just painted it black and just did some basic uh, stencils for flowers. Really simple, but really striking. Yes. This one was really, really fun. I idea. Um, I used some dry erase paint and I didn't even know they had that. I've seen the chalkboard paint and metallic right, paint right. but they have dry erase paint. So you can put this up on the clock and then you can just write in your appointments around it and erase it. Your kids can draw it. You can that? change it for the holidays. It does take about two to three days to cure completely but that one is so fun. Love that one. Very fun. Um, really quickly just you can do a picture frame. If there's a picture frame that you like pop in a clock mechanism. There's so you can go online and find clock faces that you can just print out and then go by the mechanisms. Now I will say just a blank clock mechanism is anywhere from five to twelve dollars. So here's a little tip for you that's kind of funny. Okay. Um, let's see if I can find it real We're buried quick. In clocks okay. Here. This right here is yeah. a clock that I got at Walmart for three dollars and ninety seven cents. Okay. Take that puppy apart and you've not only got all the pieces that you can play with for other projects, you've got your clock mechanism for three dollars and ninety seven cents. For less than you normally play just buying it by itself. Exactly. 
Exactly. So that's actually what I did on several of these is I just took it apart. And of course, you know, I'll find some other thing to do with the rest <laughs> right. of them. Um, I don't doubt you will. And with this clock, just another thing I wanted to mention too. You can take something that's simple and basic like this and put three on a wall above your fireplace and do like Paris, London, New York, different time zones and have them all set at different times. And just, it just makes a very inexpensive, bold statement for $12. Well, if you have family living overseas, family members yes. spending time overseas, what that's a, a fun way to memorize that as well. What a great gift for a soldier's wife mm -hmm. um, that she can have one that's set to her time and one to set that is to her husband's. And you could just pop this out and, and put like a cute little saying on there with stickers. So. Darling gift idea. Great. Um, this right here is made out of a pizza tin. The idea here is I was looking for inexpensive base ideas because most clock kits are, you know, around $100. Right. This was, I think, $4. It's just a basic pizza tin. <laughs> this about summarizes my own hilarious? personal clock. Uh -huh. I know. That's, this one would say, my kids would definitely say that's the most accurate. Always on time. Nowhere to go. But yeah, just a pizza tin. You want to make sure that the paint that you use adheres to metal. Okay. Um, and then just, I attach just number stickers and a clock mechanism. Really cute. Like that one. Right here, it's... Really, all it is is just a twister board. I had a pile of things that I was getting ready to, to throw away, and I saw that, and I thought, hmm, that would make a great clock. So I did that one. Which she usually does that, hmm, hmm. before she throws anything away, right? I know, and then I, or then I get rid of it, and I think, oh, dang. Why that did I throw yes. that away? Um, I am loving this okay. one over here. Can we talk about this one? Yes, absolutely. Look at that. This right here, you can take just a plain wooden plaque. Um, you can just, you know, make the clock face on the computer or download one, mm -hmm. and then you can just take metal glue and adhere utensils all the way around it, and it's a great clock for your kitchen. That is so cute, and you just stuck them right in there. Yes, absolutely. With just basic glue? Um, you want to use like a metal glue, but yes, absolutely. Love that. Okay. okay. And really just encouraging anyone out there to look at any surface just and like see it, it possibly yeah, as a clock. Yeah, just like any surface, and you can turn it, you can turn almost anything into a clock. These are great ideas. For more inspiration, check out Christine's blog, kmckdesigns.com. Of course, we'll link you there from our website, and more of Christine's ideas on our website as well. Fun. Thank you.